All right, working on a little scoot again today. It's just me. A little uh, dirt bike's not here. It's a scoot, and working on the front wheel here. And we had a little change of plans. I was gonna machine this down and put this this bar, since it's the same diameter as that one. We we're gonna put a, a sleeve inside there and uh, weld that and everything. But uh, that would have been a lot of machining and everything. And it turns out that this, this piece of metal here, it's a solid bar. And uh, this will just about, the way it is, fit inside of this pipe here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to leave that pipe. All right, I got it uh, marked off at three inches here. And we'll have one inch going into here. I think if I just clean this up, you know, sand it down a little bit, you know, and uh, inside here there's, there's a, a seam. If I clean that seam up, I, th I think this that might fit in there. And uh, like I said, I'm going to cut this to three inches. And we'll have one inch, one inch going into this pipe. And one inch going into that pipe. And then that, and instead of having to do all of the garbage, I'll just, uh, I'll just do body work on it if I have to. It's only, you're only talking an inch. And the body putty is only going to be an eighth of an inch thick, so I can make that look like it's uh, it's never been touched. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this to length and clean everything up and clean the weld off inside here to seam and uh, see what we got. And then probably drill drill four holes in each section of this, so a little dirt bike could uh, rose that weld that, and uh, that'll be that'll be stronger than it's ever been. All right, let me do that, and then I'll get back to you.
Here we go. Didn't take much polishing at all. I'm going to clean it a little bit more. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to clean it much more. I'm just going to get the other side. All right. We got this all ready for my welder. He just has to squeeze this up, put it where he wants. He only wants like an inch there, and I got more. So uh, I think when, I, when we finally put this together, I think uh, I might make these uh, wheel spacers here maybe a quarter inch wider because it looks like looks like it's pulling it in towards the bottom, and that'll give us a little more play. I mean, it it works and it spins and everything, but uh, I think it'll look a little better. So. Uh, just gotta wait for him to, to weld that up. I put the holes in there so he can uh, put a couple of rosette welds in there and then put a bead around here and the front end will be good to go. Alright, I think maybe I'll uh, I'll grab some of them uh, engine parts and uh, clean them up and and uh, see what we got. Alright, All right. we got a little time left on this uh, video so uh, you guys know what this is, right? It's a 20 pound weight there and a flat piece of aluminum and this is where we we put our uh, piston here with the acetate in it so let's bring it over here and see how we made out looks like there, there was uh, hardly any evaporation at all still up above the the rings all right let's uh, see if we can get them rings apart let me throw you up on a tripod, make you comfortable. Yeah, before we go up there, I just noticed something. Look in here. And just from sitting, you can see all that all that dirt that must have just uh, dissolved and fell off. Pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can get any movement out of this. I got you zoomed in, so hopefully uh, you'll stay in focus. I'll try and keep you in frame. But uh, well, what I do now is I get these little picks. I got a straight one and one with a little angle on here. And then I go and I try and find the, here's the crack. And then uh, just see if you can get under it. And see if you can get any movement out of it. Oh well, yeah, got a little bit. Yeah, I can get under that. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, try and work my way around it. You know what Mike did? Mike does, uh, he, on the bigger pistons and stuff, uh, he'll spray it with like PB Blaster or Cruel or something like that and let it sit and everything. And then he'll come back and put a torch on it and uh, try and move it. And he's had a lot of luck with that. So I'm going to see how much I can move this. All right, that one here is moving a little bit. Let's try this, uh, this top one here. All right, I'm getting I'm getting movement out of this top one here. I mean, you don't want to break them, and they are they are very brittle. But it wouldn't be the end of the world for me because I I do have spares. I think I think I might uh, spray this 
and heat it and see what it does. I mean, not heated enough to to damage anything. Just just so you get a little movement out of this. That one's not moving. That side's moving. Okay. Oh yeah. That one moved pretty good. Now scrape all that stuff off of there. You guys don't view. I was actually trying to pick up this other one. And by doing that, this side's actually moving pretty good. So maybe. Yeah, look at that. That one's moving pretty good. So maybe I'll, I'll spray some stuff in there. This side here is uh, getting a little movement. So, uh, all right. Yeah, you got to be uh, patient and gentle with this. So uh, I'm going to turn you guys off. And like I say, I might spray it and, uh, and see what happens. All right, we'll get back with you when we get more movement. Oop. Sorry about that. Here we go. Where you at? Where you guys at? Right. All right. We got them all loosened up. Uh, we got some good news and some bad news. I'll give you the bad news first. Bad news is we broke the top ring. And more bad news is we broke the the middle ring. But the good news is the oil ring. We were able to loosen up. There's a lot of crud in there, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't finish taking it out, I was so disgusted. Okay, but the more good news is we got we got plenty of uh, spares here. You know, I think these are all from the, the four cylinder. We replaced all the rings in there and uh, they really didn't need it. So all these are good and uh, I came up I checked them all out and I came up with a real nice set here, so so don't worry, no worries, we uh, we have a complete set to put in there. I might even use the original wheel ring, I don't know. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop these out and then clean clean these grooves. And I'm going to do it by hand, I'm, I'm going to scrape it with, with uh, this because I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I mean there's, there's a lot of crud in there. And uh, I have a groove cleaner. But I've never even used it. It's been hanging on the wall for years. You know, I'd rather do it by hand. You know, with these little ones, it's different if you got eight cylinders to do. But I'm going to clean them all up, and then uh, get a thin wire wheel go right in there and clean that up. So let me do that, and then we'll get back to you. Another thing, when you do take rings off and you're going to put them back on, you know, a lot of them are different. And each one of these, where you at? I made a diagram of this, even though I knew, you know. You know the top one is uh, is like square with a little bevel taken off, and the second ring has a step around the whole thing, and it's got like little. You can actually see if you look at it from the side, it's got uh, little steps in it on the outside, and then the oil ring. You know it's got the grooves in it. So I've seen guys put put rings in upside down and stuff like that, and the thing blows smoke, and they don't know why. But uh, rings do have a, you know, top and a bottom and an inside and an outside and stuff like that. So make sure you, make sure you put them in right. Most of the time when you buy a new set, they'll come with instruction telling you which, which one goes where. So let me, let me finish popping the rest of these off and uh, clean this up a little bit. A lot of people wouldn't do that, but that's a, a brass brush there, you know, especially on an aluminum piston. But uh, 
I'm not really doing any damage to it, so uh, let me finish cleaning it up and uh, bring it back to the table. Wash these all up and everything with uh, acetone. And uh, this ring here didn't have a, a spring behind it, you know. The newer, newer ones come with, with a spring, so I'm going to put a spring on this. Only because I have them. It ain't going to hurt. It's funny if I broke it putting it on, that'll be embarrassing. All right. Yeah, like I say, a lot of people wouldn't uh, clean the piston on, on a the brass brush there, but uh, then again, a lot of people wouldn't have uh, even messed with this engine. So, all right. Let me put this uh, just the middle one here. Don't forget, you got little shoes there, your little horseshoe there. All right, let me put the middle one on. The middle one's a little tricky, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do it without you watching me. All right, yeah, that wasn't too tough, but I didn't feel like wasting your time. Yeah, this uh, bottom one that I put the spring on with the oil ring, I don't know. It don't it don't feel like it's squeezing right. So uh, let me know what you guys think. You think I should have put that uh, oil spring in there? I mean, that's the when they say give you a kit, they usually give a a new spring with it. I'm gonna run up past Mike, so uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I probably won't be putting this in for a while, so I'll have a chance to take it out. And make sure you put this top one in right. So here we go. All right, our piston's all ready to go back in. Now I guess we'll take the block out, clean that up, so. All right, I think we probably got enough for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alrighty.